Everyone, welcome. X's and Knowles presented by Knowles 24-7. Your favorite, my favorite, the people's favorite film analysis podcast and video show for the Florida State Football Seminoles. <sighs> Another loss we get to review, guys, but a different loss. A loss with maybe a slight glimmer of hope. I don't know. We've got uh, Florida State has started the the beginnings of the youth movement swell, and we will see. We will see where it takes them. We talked about it in the instant reaction. Obviously, this is a season to forget. This is a season to be mad about as well. You should an abject failure in every way possible, but we will show you some of the positive glimmers. The season is not over. Florida State is on a bye week. We will show you some things that maybe Florida State can build upon for the future with some of these younger, newer, fresher faces that are appearing on the football field for Mike Norvell's Florida State Seminoles. We are just going to be reviewing the offense today. Obviously, the story is about Brock Glenn, Amari Williams, Landon Thomas, some of those other guys they started working in. There's also a story about Luke Cromanhawk, too, that I would go on the 24 7 and check out. It's just. As a Florida State fan, the buy <laughs> something always something always stupid has to happen. So just go check out that story. But right now we're focusing on Brock Glenn. And uh I got nothing else really to say, man. We're just gonna hit this offense. We're gonna we're gonna rake it with a fine tooth comb and just see can we squeeze out some wins this year? Please. <laughs> it was so much more fun looking at the film after Cal, I don't know right? Adam? They beat Cal. I don't no. know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. How'd you let Cal put a 35 on you? That's <laughs> I don't know. We're with still getting killed by him. Uh with some serious luck officiating. We'll see. Anything before we get into the film, Adam or Kev, that you guys want to add after having a couple days to digest what happened on Saturday night? No, I mean I went in thinking it was gonna be a loss. It was a loss. I think they put up more of a fight than I expected. The offense looked better. Um still still having to work around that offensive line, but um yeah i mean it based off initial impressions brock looked like he was pulling the trigger i think you have something in some of these young guys so i'm excited to rewatch kind of the offense and see you know is there is there potential here for improvement against you know clemson's by far the best defense you're going to play this year so can you can you can you take steps forward going going forward a lot, a lot of panic in the voices of the coaches these uh today specifically uh so we're recording on tuesday evening but just listening to mike and listen to alex atkins talk about the kind of the run game the offensive line as a whole and the offense like just since since the the panic has finally set in or the realization has set in that they are a bad offense and uh, i'm curious to see how they come out of this bye week and then in, in the next weekend um if they can figure anything out to get this thing kind of moving in the right direction. Florida State is like, how many oh, years of football has Florida State played? 70, 80? And you're looking at, you're staring down the teeth right now. If you keep up at this pace, so to speak, mm. you will have the worst rushing offense in school history, which yeah, was like supposed to be the foundation of everything you did in the offseason. A catastrophic failure. Let's take a look at the tape. It's un it's really is unreal. Nobody's Only, getting fired tonight. No, 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 no. Like I said, it was still a bad offense, but it was a better bad offense. What do we see here, fellas? So, so they're doing like a, some insert stuff here. Mm -hmm. They're kind of doing a zone this direction. Uh, but really it's an RPO. Um what he's looking at is the safety. If he comes down like this, or well, you're gonna try to hit a kind of a post over his head. And it's just there. Be, yeah, need to be more physical at the point there. He just kind of gets knocked off the route. Yeah. So he the stumble, can't get his head around. And he might he might bite it a little bit too far inside uh because of that, right? Mm -hmm. So it might throw off the timing a little bit. Brock's got to get rid of this ball. Someone coming at his face. But good quick decision, quick trigger. The tr the trigger was noticeably faster. Yeah, but this should be a touchdown. Period. You've got man coverage one on one with your fastest receiver, or your quickest receiver. That needs that needs to be a big not game. A, not a touchdown, should be a chunk play. Chunk play. Yeah, 
Those are, Which those are rare, you make. rare rare for this offense. So you had an opportunity, you schemed it up, play one, it was there. You can see a lot of young guys already on the field. Hakeem Williams, Landon Thomas, uh, Andre Otto playing guard. He set up a screen again. It looks like crap because they all do. Yeah, just I mean, kidding. what was that, AB? Um, just Mo gets kind of held up with Otto, and yeah, you need to get out there. Yeah. Get kick, you get a you get a wall. And then they're looking to kick seventeen with Mo, and just doesn't get out there. And hats off to this Clemson guy. Um, is this their freshman linebacker? No. Was it Wood as, Wood as or something? Yeah, it's Wood as. Okay. I mean, really great play. Yeah. Kind of limiting it, making Toffili run backwards. But yeah, your line needs to get out there. This great. Your line does not move well in space. It looks like they... Toffili maybe wandered a little wide too, but yeah, I mean, yeah. just it's got that block's got to get there. Tough sack. But he's climbing the pocket even with pressure, which is a nice difference, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're bringing five. So it should be a hat on a hat. You actually keep the running back in for extra protection. Let's see. Uh, gets picked up all right. Yeah, he drops his eyes. Probably needs to get the ball. Jakai is getting mugged, I think. Yeah, right here, you need to find a place to go with the ball mm -hmm. or be patient and let the running back release. Cause that's right, a first yeah. down too. Yeah. That's what I was kind of peeking at. It looks like, I mean, what we can see on here is covered up. Look at your at the top of the screen too. Just yeah. Big, big he'll have a nice little grab a Jersey too. You know where your safety valve is going to get to though. Try to get the ball to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah but at the, at the end of the day, you got to get rid of this football. You yep. got to find a place to go with it. You got to have a hot read. You got to have, somewhere to go in case they bring an extra man and they, they picked this up. I, I'm not that upset mm -hmm. about this offensive line blocking this. I, I think he moves up a little bit too much. Yeah. I think he gets, he climbs a little too high. I think he's looking to take off, but it's closed up. They do a good job and nothing there. I think he got a little impatient there. Uh, yeah. Tofili leaking out the backfield would have had one guy to beat around the first down mark. Something you would have liked to see, but uh, it does look different. It was a three and out. Yeah, We've seen a lot of those, but it was a different looking three and out. Just no. That, I mean, that would have been DJ crumpled over getting sacked the last couple weeks. We 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 know what that's looked like. So it's encouraging. Brock's showing good poise in the pocket. He's working working vertically, which is what you want to see. That's going to help create big plays as guys work to get open later in the in the routes. So we've seen RPO screen, RP, RPO screen, long pass. Let's see what kind of diversity we're going to see. They're running trips. Yeah, this is another. This is a triple option kind of look. Mm -hmm. um, so you're reading this guy to determine to give it or pull it. It looks like it could be a good look just then, from this frame, right, guys? Right, and depending on how they read it, he might just be seeing pre-snap. Hey, I've got yeah, numbers up here, so I'm going to just it. throw this. What was that? I would assume that's probably the yeah. case. Uh, why is ten? Do we he's, like that? Is that okay? Like six, six yards. I mean, yeah. he looks like he's maybe block. Somebody blocks the wrong guy out here. Yes, that's what I was referring to. I'm going to guess maybe zero is supposed to come down, or, or maybe they're trying to double. Man, they might be trying to double. I but don't know. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to doubt that that's what it is. <laughs> it looks a little clunky, but hey, you're getting the ball to Hakeem Williams. Who they, the, him and Brock starting to, they got some nice chemistry going. That's mm -hmm. good to see. And that's a successful play, even though yeah. it looked Six yards on first ugly. down is what you want. But ugly though, dude. The execution is still crap. <laughs> yeah, but, I, but that's that's what most. I mean, this is college football. There's going to be some some hiccups, but you got to be able to get positive yards there. Yeah, I guess well, snap and the snap good. kills it. I, I don't know, Kev. Watch some other other teams execute screens against us. It looks that's a lot true. better. Like <laughs> you'll see Clemson. This sucks. Like Mo is. I don't know what's going on with Mo, man. This is tough. Oh, we're trying to run counter. I mean. They blitz it off the edge, and uh, yeah, I don't. Otto just doesn't get there. Like, yeah, the guard's really slow getting here. So you think what he should at it? least be able to? Chip oh him. man, yeah. Like, yeah, it's a bad snap, but this is counter. It's a slow developing play, anyways. Someone, the guard needs to be able to at least get a hand on him. He, yeah, he can't would, be allowed to free. 
yeah, you would have had some issues with that one no matter what. But I mean, it's a decent look if you can get this guy chipped. There's a block. Yeah, and they're that the screen off the backside with it too, which maybe maybe Brock throws the screen if that's true. It's a good snap. Yeah, I like that look too on second and four. You never know. All right. Got motion. Yep. See you motion. It's not that boring already, is it, Adam? Yeah, I'm freaking beat. <laughs> Sorry. Darius well, does so not give Darius gives Brock no time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Darius misses. Well, I'm pretty sure we got a legal formation too. Or if he All throws this ball, we're going to have an eligible downfield. I think they might have called that actually, big man. I yeah, this guy's right. covered. This guy cannot yeah. release downfield. Or yeah, and you throw the ball. But he can if it's a screen. If it's behind the line of scrimmage. Were they setting up a screen? Well, Darius is short set. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely setting up a screen. But, what well, I mean, I don't... This looks Why like Dar crap, dude. Like... Dar yeah, some, this has got to be like a miss call or miss signal or something. Yeah, because... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that Williams is supposed to be on the other side. He, he must be, He's got to be lined up wrong. Yeah, I don't understand how you have three guys coming... And he's waiting on a fourth. Like, who's blocking who here? Why is nobody blocking this person? I guess you're chipping him and... No. Darius is looking at immediate inside, and then he's just not quick enough to get back out there. Now, my question. Is this on the quarterback or the young tight end? Uh, it's, uh, it's tough for us to say. Because I mean... if it's not, why the hell is the rest of your veteran unit like, yeah. why does it look like crap in game six still? <laughs> like, it looks like unorganized crap. Like, I, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess you got a missed signal on the formation. Okay. Which... I'm just trying to say, if, that, if that's on Brock or Amari or whatever, then it's like, okay, this is the growing pains we talked about. I don't want to be unfair. If it's yeah. not that, if it's like like MAs from like guys you should know better, like, I don't I mean, know. I'm not, I'm not convinced this is a misassignment outside of Darius not getting out there. No, I'm misalignment, not a misassignment. Okay. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not convinced of that. I, I think they might be setting this up for this look because you've got a hat on a hat. Yeah. You've got to play here. And then you, yeah, you might be right. They, they might be doing just a weird formation just to get a look from. But I mean, I don't, I don't if it's a screen like Darius is, I mean, Darius doesn't, I mean, there's nothing wrong with what he, I mean, he like for maybe to get a piece of it, but. Yeah. It's a screen like you want him invited up the field. Yeah, I mean, that guy, doesn't, do that guy doesn't do anything to the play. Well, if Otto gets yeah. a block here, you have a first down. Yeah, they just don't execute it again. I'm not convinced that Mo's block was going to hold either, though. But that's just tough, dude. I just, once again, you're putting these guys out in space. They look like crap in space. But new quarterback, you're trying to break in. Tough defense you're playing. You're going to run screen game. They... Expected you to run a lot of screen game. Yeah. I. What kills I, me, though, is they rep them an F ton of screens. I know, and it looks like F crap, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and I love screens. Florida State has traditionally been annihilated with screens throughout our history. Yeah. And I love the screen. I love I mean, a well called screen. I mean, I think some of it is, is teams are just expecting it. They don't, they, they just don't. They yeah. squat on everything, so everybody's yeah. just playing downhill at you. But again, you get you get decent numbers here. Yeah, is it, did you get caught from behind? You just mm. gotta. Well, th I think the throw. Yeah, I mean, really, the pressure from behind doesn't allow you to cut off a of Darius's block. And right, this guy reads it fast. He's not convinced of yeah. the screen. Does he cuts play? this down fast. <sighs> Cause you've thrown like four screens already in like yeah. six plays, <laughs> but even then there, I mean, he, read, he read it. Well, he read the yeah. ball coming out. Darius not blocking him. I mean, it's good recognition by that kid. Oh, yeah. cause there's something here. There's some, if he doesn't, if he doesn't chase this down, there's something here, but yeah, again, they're keying screen. Yeah. It's tough, man. Could play 44. Cause you're predictable, but young quarterback, I'm, I'm trying to be lenient here. Counter. Good read. All right. Well, actually, bad read, bad bad read. read by him. Yep. He's too quick. Right. We've seen this over and over, and I thought they were fixing it. They they talked about this. 
Well, the, uh, we'll give them. I mean, he is a true freshman. He doesn't yep. have a lot of reps running his play. This so is a he, play you need a lot of reps with. He needs to have enough space to be able to read this block, right? Mm-hmm. So he has to see that this guy's attacking inside shoulder, so he should be inside of that. But he's his, eye, his eyes are bad. his eyes are in the wrong place. He's looking at the man instead of looking at his at his first puller. Right. Yeah. So he needs to be reading his ass. He needs to be here, but he's instead looking out here. This is a chunk. This is a big run if if he if he's in the right spot. Which I mean, we keep saying that stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's true. But they game keep, six. Happen. Yeah. But even then, Tofilly does a good job reading this blocker. Yes, he does. And gets what he can. And at the end of the day, now you've got your running back one-on-one with a cornerback in space. How many times has this been a 30-yard run against Florida mm-hmm. State? Let's see how many we get here. None. <sighs> Just yeah, I mean, he's a good tackle. Landon's That's... defense, the, the older dudes in front of him were doing that too all year. So. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right. You're going empty. What do you got, Brock? All right. You got Lewayne McCoy on the field too. Is he at the bottom of the screen, Adam? That's 15. Yeah, right? 15. Yep. Yeah, he came in quite a bit. Ooh, smoke. Uh, yeah, this got a is lucky a... PI fault call on a uncatchable ball. Yeah, finally. We've been saying it. Like slot feed. You got slot fade against man coverage. Take it. Just throw it up. Good things happen. Just be confident about your read. Take it. It's the Joe Flacco story, bro. Just throw it up there. I mean, it's, I mean, yeah, a sack is an automatic fourth down. Throwing it up, you've got a chance. And this is a low interception rate play. Yeah, it's a safe play. Just throw it up, give your guy a chance. He does it. This is Brock takes it, dude. He takes the hit, just stands in there. So you like that aspect of the game. This, this is the sole play that made me feel like, okay, you can run an offense with Brock Glenn. DJ was not making this throw. DJ was falling away. He was he, he was holding on to the ball. He was trying to run. He was doing whatever. He was not standing in and throwing this ball consistently on third and eight and getting this PI call. Fact. That's, that's, I think that's slightly unfair if I'm being completely honest. Because, I mean, he did just throw one of those for a touchdown. I mean, that's I mean, true, I, but it, I don't there wasn't a guy in play, I don't think that play alone there... I mean, no, but I you you, you got to concede what Kev's point is. Standing in the I, I pocket, do. I don't taking think, the hits. Like I don't think this is the, I don't think this is the right moment to make that. Point I know. I get. He, we've only seen him call that like one other time. He threw for a touchdown. Well, we don't know that. We don't have the all twenty-two. He could have been calling that yeah. all game last game, and DJ ate it. I mean, I think we can diagnose slot. I, okay. Well, the, I'm route, not trying to be a contrarian. I, I'm I know. Also, I know. But route pat- pattern aside. Staying in with a guy in your face and delivering the throw, no matter what it is, is not something he did. No, this is a terrible wall. Yeah, you, you've got something here. He's got to be. He's got to step on. We just cannot connect. Too with high, people. right? Yeah, simultaneously not a good ball and still should have been caught. Yeah, like attack the football. Go make a play on it. Two, ba- <sighs> two guys making 50% plays. Good cover or good protection. Good protection. You got man coverage. You got to take that. You got to win that. You got to win these. You got to. You got to win something. Ooh, what the heck? It's a little All pitch. Right. Quick pitch off counter, right? So yeah, and counter Courtney read? just misses this. What in the block. world? So he's, I think, supposed to block this guy. No way. This is right. That was DOA, bro. <laughs> that was DOA. Did they run blitz it or I think Bro, I don't want to hear about grab bagging anymore. I think this is just a called pitch. I don't know. Yeah, I it is. It's a maybe I mean, he didn't read anything. Just a just a just a look off counter, a counter off counter, right? Does 20 want to come play for Florida State? No. <laughs> is that corner, dude? Yeah, he doesn't want run to run it back one more time. All right. So you design the play to look like counter, right? You got the guard and the mm-hmm. tackle pulling. So you're hoping you're getting this guy flowing down and this guy flowing. But they bring a corner blitz, which blows this whole thing up. 
you're thinking this guy's going to be man on him and you can run him off or something. Mm -hmm. But they just blitzed into this look. Adam, do you like the design? No, just no, 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 no. Why, and why I could tell I can tell you don't. Uh, well, I understand. Um, All right. So you're running a compressed formation. So you know you've got an idea what kind of look you're going to get out of Clemson, mm -hmm. and whether you're going to get into corner blitzes and whatnot. I don't understand why you wouldn't wall him with I think is that Hakeem? Why yeah. you wouldn't wall that corner with Hakeem? Why do you have Brian Courtney taking a counter step? which is making him slow to get out there. If he doesn't take that counter step, he's got this block, but he takes a counter step. Yeah, I don't know why he's not blocking. Who? who I also don't that? understand why we're showing insert ISO on the front side with counter blocking from the back side. <laughs> yeah, this, this whatever this, this like blocking is makes no sense. Like, what the heck? I could tell this play offends your sensibilities. Well, well they the talk line. about grab bag, and this is as grab bag as it gets. Yeah, it just uh, yeah. <laughs> it looks so ugly. As I do. I'm cool I remember with the pitch one. off. Of, I'm good. cool with a pitch off a count, like off a counter or whatnot. Like I'm good with that. There's a whole lot of other junk going on here that doesn't need to happen. Uh, yeah, I don't really understand where you do. Why aren't you? Why aren't you? Why aren't you receiver on corner right there? Okay, one or of your best blocking him receivers. Up, or stalk yeah. him up to up to zero. Right, that's common too. And you now you've got a line uh, tied in. But why is he? Why do you have? three guys pulling or pretending to pull that doesn't make any sense why not treat this like old quick pitch which they had success with have, they had success with quick have, quick pitch have last a, year have right a wall, have a wall there and then have a have your tight end leading around the outside I yeah don't know, man. this is just like they they talk a lot about grab bagging they're trying to get people to key off counter but if the counter to counter also gets blown up by edge blitzes then what are you doing this needs to be able to get around this exact situation. You're and trying to, with a couple tweaks here and there, it's you can. I don't, I don't know. And they had some quick pitch. I don't know if that was last year, or the year before, but they did some nice quick pitch stuff with Benson and Travis, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Uh, what happened here? Was this a miscommunication with the receiver? That's almost certainly. Like said. Yeah, almost certainly. What he's because you can see Glenn after the play. He was expecting somebody to go out or come in, one of the two. I think he was expecting like a dig here. Mm -hmm. And he read a different coverage or something. The irony is if if Brocklin had waited for him to be open, he probably has a touchdown here. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. He was streaking down the sideline, yeah. But you know, timing like you expect. Yeah, you know. know. Right. It's third and twelve. You got to be able to trust that your receiver's gonna be there and throw it before he's there. So you've got execution issues and you've got a lot of youth mistakes so far these first three drives, which leads to a lot of Clemson points. Number 20 is giving us fifth. Bad boy. Yeah, and then some some weird design. Didn't Both really come out with our best. Second year. You gotta you gotta know these routes. Yeah, maybe right? be, I'm being too lenient, right? Yeah. It's not like they're true freshmen. And it's not like it's a condensed playbook anyway with these dudes, right? Hey, we don't need to watch that on the old defense. We know what happens. They, ah, tackle, tackle each other. Um, not our really a lot more of a clunky beginning than I remember. Yeah, I'm glad I missed all this. All right, oh, so now you're running. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm so glad. This is the same formation. This is, him. This hey, is the constraint go. play. So now you're running in the same formation, but instead of running this weird counter, fake counter toss, you're just running counter. So they were supposed to build off of each other, right? Mm -hmm. So now you say, well, they clearly did not respect the fake counter pitch. So let's just go counter, see if we can run it. And you see Morlock go yeah. the inside track, which yeah. is different than Thomas, right? Yep. It's the best they've run counter all year. I, I don't know if that's it's even teams exaggeration. That don't spill them. They can run counter on. Yes. Uh, if, I've said it for a year now. I don't. Yeah, I don't know, I don't why. know why anybody doesn't why anybody would not spill this team. They oh, they're they're trying to bring them. a blitz so they get caught having mm -hmm. to not spill them, right? They didn't spill it earlier though, and it wasn't a blitz. That's true. Yeah, if you can let FSU get this inside shoulder, yep. they're generally okay blocking it. But if this guy attacks this in oh, you can blow it up, shoulder. dude. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't tend to read it well. Especially with our guards. Why wouldn't you attack our guards every single play? Be honest, offensive lines played pretty well so far. 
this game. I, They've I missed a couple blocks on screen and stuff, but yeah, yeah, pass pro has run, like in run game, I guess specifically. In some yeah, way. screen game looked like crap. The pass pro has been okay so far. I know it goes downhill, but Speaking yeah, running downhill. You got uh, you got some good box numbers, uh, but you're still here. Yeah, there there's an RPO. There's a read. Mm-hmm. Um, he's also. I mean, it's a triple option look. So he's looking at this defensive end who's not giving a clear pull read, right? Yeah. He's got to give you a reason to pull it. Yeah. So default to give. Because people were asking, how come they didn't run Brock this game? How can they run? a lot of there was a lot of QB run component? I just yeah. you know, Clemson didn't want to give you the QB run. Yeah, he's just the line scrimmage that you give. Yep. But just for people asking why they didn't run with them, it's like every Steve, like all these won. plays had a component. Here's the condensed set again. The same look <sighs> from the pitch. Mm. So condensed. No width. Now this might be a pull. Yeah, it should have been a pull and throw to Morlock. Yep. Which <laughs> that's there. Yeah. It so is. This this guy's there. You gotta know numbers pre-snap. This is a misread by Brock. Yeah, I'd be pretty frustrated about that one on the sideline. Because yeah, I mean this this guy ends up making the tackle. And Benson gets a block. Walls I mean, him this off nice. Al- this alone should be a pull. Yeah, and Benson does a good job blocking. Yeah, that's a fifteen yard gain instead of a zero yard gain. Gotta make Wait. the reads. They're I'm not curious to see if the amount of RPO stuff that they're doing, because they're doing way more in this game than they did with DJ. I don't know. They were in a decent amount with DJ. Yeah, but a lot of it, I felt it was just like glance stuff. I, I mean, this is... Yeah, they're more doing more of the, the triple option yeah. stuff. I just got time. Oh, yeah, the little late leaky landed. This was a nice play. Mm-hmm. It seemed really good. This seemed to give him a little bit of a spark here. Yeah, it's 17 nothing. Sparked right up. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good yeah. pass, bro. I know I know you're joking, but in the stadium there was a sense of like, okay, maybe maybe something's going on. Your you're defense, you feel like you're in back in the game. Your defense was was doing well until it felt like your offense was completely anemic and they started falling apart. So now you're like, well, maybe the defense has something to play for. Like I mean, I don't blame the fans at all. Do you like you this offense is so bad. It's like I have to see them do something to believe they even have the potential to do anything. This is the this is the play that that's killed Florida State historically for years. All the time, yeah. dude. If all my early two thousands FSU versus Freaking Miami delay. game people, the delay release. Yep. And this is actually the same kind of play that Brock missed earlier with Toa Philly. Mm-hmm. Now he stands and he makes it. I, I think this one's more designed to be like this. Yeah, uh, it does seem. God, I'm just, I'm just thinking of what's like a Jeremy Shockey and like what was mm-hmm. it, Kelly, Kel, what Kellen Williams or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, Kellen Winslow. <laughs> Kellen Winslow, that was his name. Yeah, junior. Oh, it's, that's Kellen. a nice play. Yeah, look good. He called at the right time. Yep. All right, I Danzi in there. Yeah, really. There's only been that one play call where you're like, "What is going on here?" But outside of that, I mean, the plays have been there. You've missed a few blocks. Upright. Oh, quick. Well, oh, nice catch. Game way to be physical. That was nice. Right. I think you, you got to live out of this with Brock. What? What do you mean by this, Kev? Just this kind of RPO look. Get the ball out of his hands fast. He can get it. He can get it out there. He's got a quick trigger. He made pre-stop, this. Rep- pre snaps putting him on this. Right. He sees he sees all this room. He sees this. He sees that there's no overhang backer that could potentially get under that. So he's going to take that. What, what, what is, is he? Re, why did Byers not block that guy? Is that a read guy, Adam? Mm. Byers right tackle. That that, that guy weird. is on that guy's on Glenn like way too fast, right? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that seems. Oh, that's the plan. We're going to draw a personal foul penalty <laughs> by letting our quarterback hey, get up. annihilated. Oh, oh, oh dude. Come on, guys. I mean, they really have not been able to get Vince in the ball in space, and I don't think he's helping himself out much. You got to – I don't know whose fault this is, but – This play doesn't look – I mean, he's too deep. I mean, you got something, though. Courtney mm-hmm. gets a block, I think, too. Yeah, you got you got a potential touchdown. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Whatever. You got something better. Can't than put that. the ball on the ground there. 
Let's just condensed thought. set. The same look. I love run. it. Learn to love the condensed set. Uh, and this is when you get frustrated because it's like, I don't think the offensive line's been that bad. They just don't move anybody. But the problem mm. is, this is this is an insert ISO play. Mm-hmm. Why is his eyes not to, to, to this yeah, guy? Yeah, I, I thought in real time he made the wrong cut. Where is he going? There's, there's he, he he thinks he's bouncing this thing to the sideline. But even if you bounce the thing to the sideline, bounce the thing to the sideline. What is this? Well, but the corner showed up late. So I think he thinks that it's he's getting man coverage and 20's running with the receiver mm-hmm. instead. Now that kid's doing 20, job. 20, show, 20 shows. Um, player. When he thinks he's got the sideline. Nope. No, you don't. No, but that's, that shouldn't happen. You know, no, he's, it shouldn't. It's why, a bad track. People, why is he reading is man? Go against the, this is one that goes against the offensive line. It's really its own. Total feely. Like they blocked this up decently. Right, it's a five yard gain, but still. You take that. Mm-hmm. At <laughs> this freaking point. I, I think I think if we went back, we'd be surprised at how poor some of the running back tracks are. Yeah. Well, all we've the talked about it quite a bit. Tight ends, wide receivers not blocking, and then running back tracks, like they're they're an issue. It's not all in one. I mean, but twenty two rushing yards. Is that how many they had this game? Boom. Amari Williams. This is, I mean, they've been talking Boom. about him from the beginning. You got this nub trips look. He's going to kind of run this post, widen out the corner, get up field. Yeah, just boxing out, playing yeah. basketball, basketball and turf. That just physical catch. Not something we've seen at all. That is extremely positive. Mike is pumped. We're all pumped. Points on the board. Got to give it to him. Nice play. Tough situation. That was like third and goal from like what? Like the 13 yeah, like or something? Or so, yeah, I mean, that yeah was that's a, tough, dude. That's big, a strike. Big play. Those are things that give you optimism, though. I mean, he could go out there and make, a, make the read, make the throw like that. And then you got an athletic kid at tight end who's a true freshman, really should still be in high school, uh, making a big boy play like that. All right. Let's see if they can build off it. Yeah, you just blocked a field goal at this point so i mean it used to go down to score this is a football game mm-hmm. i had hope i'm ashamed to admit i had a oh, oh god poor andre andre yeah hey, huge and play. Make a big boy catch and big boy like this this is what i'm talking about it's just the consistency of how quickly he was willing to trust his pre-snap read to get the ball out of his hands throw it up yeah i don't think that's a holding but Oh, dude, no, you, can't, you can't pull. You can't pull yeah, the guy I mean, down he, on top of you to like save Brock's pull, life. Really. Yeah, there's a right there. Hold. Yeah. Oh, uh, the I'm left hand. Yeah. Up. Yeah. That's that's... Dude, yeah, just just eat it at that point. He was probably just holding on for dear life at yeah, that point. Yeah, that's he's that's, just that's like a trust fall. I feel so bad for him. <laughs> he's such. He's like. <laughs> Doug, you try to get the sneaky hold just so you don't let Brock Glenn die, but yeah, that's it. Dude. How does okay, AB? How does he get blown up so bad? It's not even a surprise. It's the guy in front of him. He just gets his ass kicked. I wonder I mean, if he's upright too high. That yeah, was... his feet aren't his feet aren't great. His feet, he doesn't have a good base underneath of him. He too close, set... too close together, too narrow. No, just kind of pitter patter. I mean, he he doesn't have a good. He just doesn't have anything underneath of him. So he's sitting way back on his ass. Mm-hmm. His, feet are, his yeah. feet are kind of more up underneath his chest. I mean, like you, too you far in front. Feet. Yeah, you want him up on the balls of his feet, anchored. Yeah, he's Byers not, is in a better. Not. He's in a more athletic position. He's yeah. see how much more vertical he is. You're into your guys. I mean, your legs, your feet are going to be. You're going to be a little more square than what you see Byers being with that one foot back. But yeah, yeah, yeah. he's just he's just on the he's on his heels. He's back on his ass. So momentum just t- took him over. God, it's a tough look, dude, because you actually were getting something. Yes, it was. Yeah, I mean, that's the difference right there. I mean, not in the game itself, but in being, like, truly being in the game. Mm -hmm. You get that 25-yard catch or whatever on first down, then you can get in some of your tempo, and Lord knows where it takes you. Yeah, and you get the ball to start off the second half, I believe, too. Yep. Yes. This is just Cam Cam Davis doing what he what he does. Um, very strong individual, very developed out of high school. To Adam's point, zero movement on the line though, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh your left guard, uh is that Ferguson? Mm-hmm. Just kind of 
oh loses just gets kind of worked inside loses that this leverage is, this is gets movement. Reps. yeah he recovers nicely from that but yeah mm-hmm. it's, when one when one does good somebody else must do poor always it's just the nature of the beast for this team newton's third law of crappy <laughs> offensive football I, I never read that one yeah it's it's not sparkling <laughs> do we got what do we got here boys uh i think it's another triple option kind of look i'm actually kind of surprised he doesn't throw this down here but he doesn't seem to be looking in that direction he's at looking all left though he's looking at amari the whole time right yeah. yeah. But I don't I don't know if you have numbers to even run against this look. I wonder if he could have pulled it and then tried to do like a wide run and then dump it off to Amari like back what Jordan used to do, like a delayed triple option thing. Yeah, I don't know. Amari looks pretty covered up. Yeah, it's doesn't I think Clemson just they got you already. I guess you'd have to throw yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Dude. A lot of this is good. Buyers just losing complete leverage against this ta- defensive end. I mean, they're trying. They're the 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 RPO down at the bottom here is all show. I mean, the the yeah, they're running left. Is, yeah, focal point is is forty. Yeah, yeah, but and I don't you, know you what get you're. The, you get the edge guy drop underneath of him. You just need your offensive line to give you a lane. Yeah, I guess there's three people here just kind of blowing up all five of your offensive yep. line. You need to be able to hold leverage. Sad and pathetic. So this is uh, on the line. That's not on the back. He had yep. he had nowhere to go. Now we're getting into some of that poor offensive line play. You got time, brother. Oh. Decent pass, bro. Let's see. I mean, they they bring five. They do this exotic blitz. You pick it up. Yeah, you pick it up. I don't know why he, number five is allowed to just half tackle Ja'Kai Douglas right that there. happened quite a bit, honestly. That, that's... It's happened quite a few times on guys breaking across the middle of the field. Yeah, that should, that should be that should be a holding the slot. And get get grabbed. Uh, that's that's a holding. They did that to him like it on the mm-hmm. first drive. Yeah, we called that man. I mean, and the the refs let him. It's ACC refs, dude. The kid <sighs> targeting. But also, like, here's a question. Okay, so Brock's at the back of a little three-step drop and you haven't even started running your five and in like that's i don't know why that's taking so long to get there oh they're pass place or unless it's a screen or like an rpo it's all so slow developing all right that's been is that a that's a something you notice with their passing game too, Adam, like their downfield, true drop back passing mm-hmm. game. It's all so slow, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think some of that's a talent thing personally. Do you uh, like cover, like being like not able to win one-on-ones. Yeah. Getting jammed up at the line, not having good hands, not having good routes by hands. I mean like hand work, right? You, you're yeah. trying to disengage yeah. from the, you need to yeah. see that that guy is coming. You need to be able to, work through it that's that's a skill I mean, obviously the talent in the room besides the young guys isn't great and the drops are just egregious but with better technique could they alleviate some of this stuff i mean yes uh, okay yeah i mean i think to what do you degree, think Adam? i think to a degree i mean, I think not, not, I mean joe's rule the world but that's yeah, like yeah. i mean at some point that's what it is i mean i mean you just gotta i the routes just aren't put, very crisp you're not jeremiah saying, smith out there you can't screw that up I mean that's generational talent. Yes, yeah. that, that's that's a different conversation. I mean, Kentron Portier, Portier was a basketball player, and well, so know. was Antonio Gates. Yeah, but he was tight end. Minus, yeah, I get what you're saying. They're not listen. This isn't. They're not. They're not dealing with the top tier clay minus the young guys. But they ain't molded them into the finest uh, ceramic. No, they're not. I mean, seen. Hakeem should be farther along in his development than what he is. Um. Yeah, agreed. I, I do not. The, the wide receiver development as a whole has has been less. But I also than don't think they give these guys the greatest of chances. I mean, think about what we're talking about earlier. Like, we've been dying to see slot feed. Really? Like, geez. yeah, yeah, I know. It's not a high percentage throw. This is nice. Uh, they're kind of riffing off 
the idea that they've done a lot of wheels to tow Philly mm -hmm. and usually you do like a little offensive pass interference to do that. So he bluffs this, releases inside, gets an easy completion for you. We like that. Yeah, because he bits. You're a bit. Yeah, Mike, got you there with the pencil. Second and two, right where you want to be, baby. What do we do with it? Uh, is this to Hakeem? No, it's to Benson. You got essentially man on man. It's zone, but um, oh, it's a comeback route. You want to come back, and it's there. Yep. Just to first and giving too much ground. No, just it's a crazy fine. play by the DT. Yeah, I think it's fine. Just, just one of those football plays. I mean. Yeah, I mean, you were like a little better anchor there. On him. You were like a better anchor there. But still, you got to give it to the kids yeah. a freak. Yeah. Oh, this is what Clemson does. Now, here's something I've got a problem with. Here's something we do. Run screens like crap. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Typically, when these guys are blocking down like this, the idea is to kind of go underneath them. Like a tunnel. I mean, it's not necessarily a tunnel screen because a tunnel screen implies that these guys are also releasing. True. Oh, you're going to go all the way inside. I don't know, like an inside move, though, right? Like set yourself up a nice running lane. There's an idea to come to the ball, attack the ball, and head up field. But I don't know if that's how they teach this, but that's how it's being blocked right now. Well, if you if he did come up and attack the ball, like you would have a first down. Yes. I mean, come on. like. But also... Portier gets just worked here. And he's going against Barrett Carter, which, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll give Barrett Carter's more physical than you are. But, I mean, come on, man. Come on, come on for the route or the perimeter blocking? Just, just it, the blocking. I mean, just stay in his way. I mean, you can't get beat this bad. Drop your pad level. Low man wins. I mean, this is the basic principle of football. And Portier's not like, Portier's one of your bigger guys he's it's not like one of those deals where why are you having jay lucas make that block on the outside Wait, you, or something use your like that. and your leverage let it, play, let it be to your advantage just stay in front of him and that's a dude you, it's still 20 to 7 at that point it's just third little, and two things, you man, need things that you strain need, yeah and now it's 23 to 7 it, like you could have been right. 20 to 14 20 to 10 right. and you got the ball it was like they Listen, Clemson outplayed you for sure, but dude, you you actually had chances in the middle eight of this game that you yeah. just pissed away with poor execution. There's a level, there's a level of strain that has to go into being a, a great football team or even a good football team, and this they, these guys just don't do that. They don't exhaust themselves playing and play out to go win. Mm -mm. That's a great point, dude. You don't see us just dog tired at the end of the fourth quarter. Like we gave it mm -hmm. all in the field. It was like, ah, crap. Okay. I'll get them next I'm time. I'm not saying they're not playing hard. Like, no, there's a different, there's a difference. There's a difference <laughs> like, between like playing hard and like championship level. Like my life is on the line type effort. Nobody's saying that they're quitting or they're not playing hard. No, That's all we're no. saying. The but you can see the difference in the physicality mm -hmm. exerted. Right. And it's not all just Clemson's players are better. Right. Like the, the thing yeah. is, if you, if each player makes 5% less mistakes, that adds up over 11 people. And now you're not getting one mistake per play. That's blowing things up, but you're getting, one mistake every three plays or one mistake every four plays. And it's like, you got tired for that math. Like it it's checks just, out. if everybody's just a little <laughs> bit better over, over the course of a game, it's a compounding effect. Yes. Right. But right now yep. we're seeing one person fail on every play, every play. Like there's yeah. not a play where uh, very few plays where you're not like, well, that per one person, if they do the right thing, it works. And people want to know, like, why aren't there sweeping changes to this? And Mike's got to give up the offense. And, like, I get all those points, and I've certainly said them myself at times out of frustration. But, like, you look at these plays. You look how close they are to, to being successful. I'm, dude, I'm tired of saying that at game six, bro. Like, and I, I do. I, uh, I, I do. I know, I know what you mean. But if your execution is no, so no, no, no. poor, I, for, not, you need to have somebody. I know you're not. I know. That's not, not what I'm saying. That's that's yeah. not what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah, but, I, I understand from their vantage point of yeah, like, that's fair. Yeah. Why there would be some stubbornness to what they're doing because it's so close to being, being good. 
Because they see, and, and that's why I would get even more frustrated and mad because it's like you see how close you are to being good, and you let execution screw you half. Like you're halfway into the season now. You need somebody to observe all this and clean all that up, man. Like there becomes man. a time where your ego gets big enough, and I'm not saying that this is what's occurring, but I'm just speaking generally from other teams of the past yeah yeah sure. generally from human nature like mm-hmm. there become times where your ego gets so big that you can't sit and say i'm doing something wrong it's you're not executing what i'm teaching you correctly there's a big difference in those statements yes you're you're correct and it it's also when you're in the middle of it and you see those glimpses of hope, it really is. I don't, I don't know, man. It's just you also are asking a lot of a very small staff, numbers yeah, wise, good, good to go out and do a lot of things because you won't invest. And I, you won't, not the school, you don't believe in investing in big support staffs. How much, how much better would your self scout be? And, and heard them discussing self scouting today and, the, and their. Um, after practice pressers, uh, and I don't know how big Clemson's support staff is, so I, uh, you I can know see the orange game. polos. I don't know what the I don't that's know what the that's a great point, big dog. That is a lot I'm of like, orange. How much? Sorry, yeah, I mean, there's a, there is a need and a desperate need for them to invest in not invest, like be willing to bring on big support staffs or more. Um, you know, you're asking a small handful of guys to do a lot of work when you're competing against schools that have got massive support staffs out there. This the self scouting that's going on in some of these places is incredible. Like you might be missing something that could be the difference for your team. And if you have some more self scouting help, maybe you can get more involved, hands on with the execution. More eyes, more hands, more assistants, more people to teach. You are on this film a little bit closer than it would appear, which why wouldn't that light a fire under your ass more and demand better execution? Because it's making you look like a like it making you guys look like fools out there. But yeah, Clemson anyway. essentially had one support staff per player, at least, I think, out there on the game. And it's just what bigger schools are doing. You're a bigger school. It was good enough for good enough for Dabo and good enough for Nick Saban, good enough for Kirby. This is right. straight run. No, no, Not no read component here. here well. Yeah, mm. no read component here, right, boys? Ooh. So this is outside zone, and one of the big things that blows this up is Dwash. This guy's on his inside shoulder, so his he's job is to put in the guard here. He's yeah, he's playing Early guard now. Left tackle, yeah. He's got to hand that off to the center, and the center just never picks him up. And I think he knows. Yeah, he hits himself on the head. So the center never picks this guy up, so he's got a free release. Then you're trying to do this game where you wrap and... But I think... uh, No, never mind. You're not trying to do that. But neither one of these guys gets the edge. (laughs) Two people going after him. None get him. Well, there's two people, so it's two blockers for two guys. Okay, okay. There's the other guy. He was hiding. Okay. But because... Mo never picks up this guard, this or right, this defensive tackle. I, I think Darius, they're trying to run. Pin, I th- are they trying to run pin, pin and, pull? and pull? Right. Yeah, because I mean, Mo blocks back. Well, I mean, Mo shouldn't be blocking back on outside zone. Mo should be overtaking the the. Uh, right. I mean, Darius should not even be blocking that guy. Darius should be climbing, and Mo should be on that. Just dude. buyers can't take a back step and get around the tight end, Adam. Well, if it's pin and pull, then. I mean, if it's pin and pulled, buyer shouldn't even be the one. He shouldn't be the one. Oh, pull. okay, okay, I got gotcha. you. Mo should be pulling like, if it's pin and pull. Yeah, uh, it should be Mo and Mo. I mean, maybe they're doing buyers and Mo here, or it should be Darius and Ferguson. Either way, one be. of the two of these guys needs to climb up to this backer, and no one yeah. does. Actually, they don't block either one of these two guys. But like I said, I mean, Mo blocks backwards. Yeah, I don't. There's zero. There's zero zero plays I know of that are going wide to the right where he would be blocking back on a three technique. Unless it was pin and pull. If it was pin and pull, he's uncovered on the backside, so he's got to pull. Isn't this the issue right now that we've been watching film forever together and you guys are extremely smart guys no, at diagnosing? No one pull on pin and pull this. What? But 
No, I wouldn't pull. Who's pulling on pin and pull here? The guards would pull. And oh, buyers, would be, buyers would be down. Mo would be down. I'm talking about pin and pull where you pull if your backside's uncovered. Like you, it's a read pull, but you're just saying generic. Yeah. Both, pull both guards. Okay. Well, one of these guys has to be moving up here. Somebody, somebody screwed this up. Yeah, what I was trying to get to is the fact that you two guys are having such an issue trying to figure out what this is is because it's run so poorly, and it this doesn't is, make any sense. This <laughs> right? is the first play of the second half, and there's a clear miscommunication on what play they're even supposed to be running. Oh, it's unacceptable. I don't know why they're not going up here. I don't know. That's what you come out with with your best. All right. It, it might be pin and pull, maybe. I have no idea. I, I don't know either. Who the hell can know? That's the thing. You can't. It's, you, you can't you tell. Got four different people blocking different plays on that. I mean, so you got another read there. Yeah, you got an outside zone kind of insert. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to be an RPO. This guy kind of stays back. So you give it. I don't hate that read. You got Cam in there. No, it's fine. And it's a positive play because of it. Yeah, I mean, people get mad at the RPOs, but they really do open up the run game if you start hitting them correctly. Nice. <laughs> Good job, Hakeem. Yeah, actually, what's funny is Clemson hits Florida State on a third and long on this exact concept of just kind of a comeback out route against cover three. Okay, but like Keep you're you're covered ball. from Keep the negative first ball. play. Man, you can't get your run game going. Reading again. Mm -hmm. Do we like the decision? Uh sorry, I was looking at the blocking. Um who are we reading? What are we doing? Oh, he's he's reading this. I don't know why he doesn't throw this. This is almost the exact same look we got before. Oh, yeah, with that off coverage, right? The, the on the nice yeah. play to Hakeem before. Yeah. But it's not like you don't you still have numbers in the run game. You still should be able to run this. If Ferguson holds on to this block, you're gonna have at least, you know, a five yard gain. He loses it from the get go though. And then right. what left guard. Courtney can't insert on the linebacker. Yeah, mm -hmm. he misses his block. His, screwed up his track. Uh, what, Ferguson's? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Ferguson getting beat. All right. Drink. <clears throat> Counter. That's run pretty guess well. What, guess what Clemson does differently this time? Spill. Spill it. Right, by spilling it, if you're new here, um, this guy goes inside to try to blow up the counter and make him bounce it. Well, it ends up being the the end or the de tackle. I don't know what is going on here. Yeah, I, this is a weird blocking assignment. Why is why is Morlock down? All right, pause it there. Pause it there. Pause it there. So Morlock either needs to arc release or he's going to cross the face of the tight end or the the end here. And early should be working early in in Morlock. If Morlock's going down inside, they should be working eight up to the backer. Yeah. And then you should be kicking and wrapping with. Mm hmm. Kick Washington's there, a guard. Yeah. Wrap there. Uh, that's that deal. Yeah. But what happens is. So Morlock starts inside, but he gets squeezed, and then he's got to block eight. And that ain't happening. And Harris. <laughs> Darius, all right, so Darius needs to keep coming here. Wait, well, how does eight get free? He, uh, he steps outside. He slants yeah, outside. Yeah, which means that he is per only Morlock's responsibility. Yeah. And Morlock doesn't make that block. Because he doesn't he doesn't know who to block at this point. He's, yeah, he's, he's got to block down on eight. Yeah, no matter what. I mean, it's in, inside, interior gap. Why would you turn outside? I don't know where he's going. He's confused. And then it just jacks up everything. Mm -hmm. But somehow you, somehow you manage the gain yards. Yeah, Top mostly. Run. 
because heads up blocking this guy who wasn't a blocking assignment form originally. And then he, yeah, Courtney does a good job reading this, bouncing it. He keeps coming. So does, he's able to get a hold of somebody. Yeah, that's a good job by him. Yeah. Toa Philly and Court, the, the pullers actually, and the running back actually saved this. I mean, if all they really, fine, all Morlock fine. needs to do is stay on that down block. Darius keep, Darius keep coming and, and Courtney keep coming and you're out on the corner. Yep. It's a good run by Toa Philly, but it's just like, come on, I can't do your job, guys. Easier to talk about here, though. I mean, yeah. that, that, those colors are flashing in your face in real time. Yeah, and Clemson, they, they, they played that good. They put a lot of pressure on that. Like, they, they were playing that tough and physical. Why scream? Just, yeah. Is yeah. that a Y, like a the letter Y or a W-H-Y? I <laughs> oh, no, Y as in the letter. Oh, I know, but I'm saying I'd be fine with both here. Yeah, you'd like Morlock to be able to block a cornerback a little bit. Or I guess this might be an end or something. Hell, yeah, whatever make you think he can block anybody. I mean, if he can hold this block, you might have something, but he kind of gets worked back. Which, I mean, that's what he does on those type of plays, man. <laughs> like, but also, 11's not fooled. Yep, because you... they know what you're doing, bro. It's... I don't know, you're not surprising anybody. This is three. Let's see. What are we getting? Same condensed set. Mm. Every time. Nice throw. Dude, a, big boy throw. Hot in there. Yeah. Great throw. Good physical catch, too. All right. You're still not actually out of this game yet. No. And you could have been in way more. I mean, your All special right. teams were keeping you in. Let's no. get condensed again. Hey, we saw that earlier. Came back to it. Come on. You gotta I mean, this is this you this is you draw this up. This is this is how you you do it. I mean he's a freshman, but make a play, man. Yep. That's a corner. That's All the right. worst tackler on their team. Oh my god, that's when this happens. <laughs> forgot about this because dude you're kind of cooking a little bit yeah you're moving you're, it you're yeah you're moving you're going to it's going to be 20 it's going to be 23 14 you're you're going to score here hopefully 23 15 yeah good call mm, yeah. you're a math man and then it just gets just like that's 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 a dagger bro it's a dagger who even cares <laughs> hot potato Whatever. All right. Still Can't even get field goal range, man. Oh, just. Hey, what what do we think? Obviously, it, it's execution again. Stupid. What what do you guys think of the design, like of of the offensive? People always play calling has been a hot issue. What do you think of the play calling? The design. Clearly, it's more rudimentary, simplified for Brock. But it's just like the execution's so bad that it's like I don't have a lot of issues with what they're running. No. I mean, outside of a, hit, a couple plays, and I'm the, wondering the funky what the counter pitch. Going. Yeah, but some of that, it, some of that feels like somebody missed a signal or something. Like, you can't, you don't know on those types of things. It's that's just a guessing game. Um, I mean, I don't. I think they're doing. I think they're running a lot of good stuff, stuff that works. Yeah. I know, but and. and I just, I also don't want to excuse the coaching staff because the execution is ultimately their job. Yeah. Oh, right? yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I, just I just don't want people to get it twisted that we're like, this is all on the play. Like, obviously, they're not, but they're not. These coaches are not getting what they should be getting out of this group of I think players. Systematically, like the system is fine. It just doesn't get executed. The problem is like, man, look at that extension on Ferguson. You've had, you've had opportunities in the run game, you've had opportunities for shot plays. You just haven't like, like look at this screen game. Like you just haven't been able to. How are you supposed to run on that? Like this guy's covered. I wouldn't buy pulling it and trying to race this guy. Although that's probably your best bet. But I mean, I mean your uh, your guard is reset. He's three he's yards. At, he's, he's at two yards right now, but I'm sure it's going to be longer, farther back than that. Like that's what blows up this play. It's not a bad read by Brock. I mean, when in doubt, give it. But I mean, maybe like you pull it just to challenge him and fight for something. You, you know, get Darius back at left tackle. Yeah, 
Yeah, Man, they do they, a they lot of auto back in. Okay, my think he bought a breather. Yeah, when he got after he got steamrolled. Oh, Decent look, pass protection. Look at you staying in the staying from your end zone, brother. The moxie. <laughs> Nothing there, but I respect the chutzpa. <laughs> yeah, he threw it. Somebody I'll said take I could it. say that wrong. I'm sorry. Good things happen when you throw the ball deep. Sorry if I say that wrong. Well, who's throwing it too? Is that what it is? Ketzpah? I don't know. I'm offending someone saying. saying I'm that. sorry. Yeah. Oh, oh. Catch it. Gotta catch it. Need yeah, a little it. trail sure. technique where he kind of takes his time getting out. And to be fair, that might have been what he was doing before when I was criticizing how slow he was getting his route. But not a perfect throw and even worse catch. The little things, man. The little things. How it's you, like bad. You do anything is how you're doing everything. Mm, heard that before. Yeah. This is not a detail oriented football club. They just don't do the basics, dude. They don't do the basics. They don't. I don't know why if we can see it where it's like, guys, you are actually a lot closer than you think you are. And it's like, yeah, okay. We don't care. We're going to keep screwing up stuff every play. Here's my question. What about the few times that you've run this kind of outside zone look? makes you think that you should go back to it. <laughs> All right, so now Mo does go front side, so it is just outside zone. So is that you think that's what it was before? Mm -hmm. and they just screwed it up. Yeah, Mo with the wrong they direction. Miscommunicated. Well, hold on, go to the very beginning. We can it's just the setup. I mean, it's the same look as before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why what they miscommunicated earlier. But you're still kind of in that. the game, dude. You got another block field goal. Your second yep. block of the night. So things are looking good here. You got this guy block, giving it up to him, and he's going to work out to this. Hopefully this guard passes it up to Mo, and he mm -hmm. can work up. Then you've got him pass, passing it off to Darius, who's yep. going to work up. So you're looking good. Things are looking good here. Things and you're getting look, you're getting vertical movement too, which is nice. Right, things are still looking good. Now you need this right guard to peel off, pick up seventeen. You need this left guard to peel off and pick up zero. Uh, he's a little slow peeling off. He's a little slow peeling off. Yep, that's what does it. Is that they were both too slow to come off their double teams. And they get penetration from the linebackers. You're not running it well. Why? Why are you running it? You know. You know you're not running it well. I mean, I get it. Like you need to run something that's not inside zone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, dude. It's just so they don't run anything well. But I guess they run that particularly poorly. All right, you started convinced, condensed. You spread them out. What do we got? What do we got? Trips, Trips to the that, top. Yeah. Trying to run another screen. They know what's coming. You got, do you got numbers though? No, I'm I mean, not sure. Yeah, I don't know why he. You've got yeah, you've got numbers, but yeah, I don't know why Landon I think Thomas. You, I think he baits you into this one a little bit. I don't know how Landon Thomas stops committing to the block while he doesn't come in. Like, why again? This is the second time you've run a screen. Where this blocker in this, well, he also guy... doesn't come back like more so than coming in, like he's got to come back behind the line of scrimmage, I mean, he can't be there. Yeah, the spacing yes. is funky, right? These guys should not be at the same location, especially he needs the... to be up through this hole, especially on the boundary, bro. You already got compressed space to work, so that's the second time they haven't come back on a quick screen. I do not understand. Do they not know? Or are they forgetting? Is this not something they rep in practice? I mean, and that's the, like you said, you, you think they might have baited you into it, Adam, but that's for Brock. You see that look, you throw that look, right? Yeah, no, I think the corners, I think he's looking to jump it. I think he fully expects it's coming. Yeah. But even but then, I, I don't think you Benson runs something. Well. I don't think Benson yeah. runs well at all. Yeah, I was going to say, but even if you have an aggressive block and better spacing for your, you can still get something out of it. Nope. He actually can get something big. There's no one to tackle him except for 17. 
execution is so disgusting, dude. Like, I don't know why he's standing there. What is this? When is this ever going to be how you run a screen? Just baffling. Baffling. Again, it's just he did, not a lot of uh, strain. He did not run these point. screens like this in high school. Passivity, Adam. I'm going to wait for the ball to come to me. I'm not going to freak out. and I, I, That can't be how it's taught, right? To run it like that? All right, we lost second down. That's pro- that dude probably wasn't great. If it is, then the blocking angles are all wrong. I would assume that's not how it's taught. Okay. Third and eight. Okay. I almost got there. Mm-hmm. Is, that the little, it. is that the trail concept again or something? Just some, or just something quick over the middle? No, this is yeah, not it's, trail. It can't, no, it's, it's not. You just, it's kind of just to clear out. Just an in, okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't actually know what Jakai is doing here. Maybe it's a, yeah, kind of levels concept. Yeah, it's, it's levels. Did they? Did he run it at the right depth, or like, what do you think of a? Yeah, yeah, he was fine. For you're just night. trying to. You're just trying to get a manageable time. fourth, basically. Yeah, but twenty's the best player on the field. Yeah, he looks good. Okay, so fine execution there. Get this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, going back to that same play we did earlier. Dude, stick. That's tight. Nice. Who is that? Who caught that? Chikai. Chikai. Man, that's all. Awesome. That's a good that's drop a the good wide open out. earlier. Then doesn't I, catch, then catches that. No excuse for that, but yeah, that is a tough catch, dude. Got Lewayne coming on the uh Got Lewayne and Sam Singleton. Jesus H, dude. And he's actually had a couple good well, he had a couple good catches this game. It doesn't even matter. It no, it, re- it really doesn't. You trade you trade all the tough seven yard catches for this one, right? Do they call holding on this too? Mm-hmm. Okay, this is definitely not a holding. Well, it's just called being fall, fallen on. Yeah, I mean he just goes after the knees of the guard. Who is that? It's yeah, auto. Auto. It's, auto. it's a weird call to get auto to move on the move like that. Uh, Dude, that ain't holding. The other one was. That's not. It doesn't you matter. It's the ball. You deserve to get a penalty for that effort. It's a team full of yips. Everybody's got the yips. All right. First and 20. He drives dead effectively, right? Hey, big t- well, nope, no. you have a touch. Oh, dude, it actually was. <laughs> yeah, good pass pro again. The pass pro is a lot better. Than 14 or 15 here again. You're so close to making this a football game. You really were, man. And I know we're not looking at the other side, your special teams. Mm-hmm. Like, that is so hard to replicate. Yeah, there's been like three block field goals at this point, but yeah, but still, dude, like, and you've held a decent Clemson team to 23 points at this point. Like yeah. that's you're not going to win many football games at college football scoring less than 23 points. No, and they deserve more points with their yardage, but your point still stands. God, Florida State barfed up so many opportunities, way more than I remember from watching it the first time. Just drops, missed reads, missed Bro- blocks. Up to this point, Brock's performance, guys, because that's what we wanted to focus on. And to me, and Jesus, God, I can't let this go. Oh my God, I'm getting hurt again. I already saw this once. That's what kills it. It's perfect that I said that Brock's performance because we haven't been really talking about him too much Mm -hmm. because he's been doing his job, man. Just none of these these jabrones around him are helping him at all. Yeah. Go ahead, Kev. He hasn't been bad. He hasn't done anything like exceptional necessarily, but um, I mean, he missed a a deep ball earlier that he'd probably like to have back. It was still catchable, but it was missed. Yeah. Couple reads here or there. I mean, this is what you're looking for out of him. This 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 kind of tough play, running, moving, working his feet a little bit. Um, That's the strain you were talking about. That's the exertion. That yeah. is a personification of that. No, um, you, you need him to be doing that. You need him to be fighting. Just need his freaking teammates to help him out a little bit. Yeah, and he was Brock was rougher at the beginning. Those first three drives were pretty rough stuff. But man, yeah. like. You're playing, but the picks game. like the picks not on him. Picks on somebody else. Like do your freaking job. Be where you're supposed to be. 
he's just not getting any help from these guys who are supposed to ease him into the game. Like just all these guys we were supposed to be able to count on all year. More on auto. I just I don't I don't understand why we're getting auto pulling like this. There's nothing wrong with it. it's good pass good pass per scheme. He's just gotta move his feet. It is, but he's not handling it well. Oh yeah. He stops. He just needs to keep moving at him. Just needs to keep his feet moving. Move, move your feet at contact. He stops right at contact. Stop. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and that's just oof. That's lucky that's not picked. Yeah, Brock trying to make something happen. But, but yeah, it, dude, 11 minutes left to play in the game. Got to get points. Yeah, I mean, that's... <sighs> yeah, you don't want them taking too many shots like that, but on a critical drive, get six yards. Put yourself in third manageable. Yeah, because you're stolen down two scores. You're getting a decent point. amount of time in the pocket outside of the that one. It's a good thrown catch. I mean, mm -hmm. Hakeem's catching the ball, strong hands. Oh, maybe get a little bit stronger, but that's okay. Well, that, this is the fumble forward technique. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> just like how we try to draw those rough in the past. Yeah, I yeah. see. We we and are we are smarter in. than we think that's we are. Good. Yeah, you got more lock in the top. That's right. bad on Brock. Yeah. Just a misfire. He makes the right read. Pull it. Benson's still not coming to the ball. Uh, he did come back this oh, time. Oh, he, he hopped back. Yeah, that's hopped what back. Brock Brock's expected him to be forward because that's where he's been. <laughs> yeah, dude. We go back. <laughs> I don't I, I hate it. I hate this offense sometimes, man. That's one of the worst offenses in the country. I know, but it's just the and way they've heard every inch of that. Jakai Douglas. Stop dancing. He's the only one that's wanting to catch the football. Well, that's not true. No, no. He, he didn't want to early. He'll do it when somebody's like on it, when somebody's like piggyback and I'm like CT and Johnny Bananas, but not like why don't Johnny Wilson was the same <laughs> way. <laughs> Did they Johnny only Banana practice Ruffles. contested catches? Oh. Huh? Uh, Johnny Wilson was the same way. Do they only practice contested catches? Just, they got it. That's just how they get their mojo going. I don't know. All right. So two, you're in You're in the game. You're in the game. 23 13. You're in the game. What do we do here? Dabo wants a timeout. Smart. You got time in the pocket. Sure what is this? Going on here? They're kind of doing a little high a little low. Texas, like a little Texas route in, inside. Morlock gets knocked off his route, which. Makes that look jumbled. Clemson's yeah. got a bunch of crap though, ready for it. Like they that's he's running like this, and, and Benson's kind of running a deep dig behind mm -hmm. him. Uh so you're trying to get this guy to bite up and then throw behind his head. It looks like a really good defense. It's just really good man coverage by 20. I don't that know kid, why we keep going after him. That kid's really good. Do we um, not scout that this guy's like 23 13. So you got like you're still in this game. Does you got six and a half hey, left? Go, they go. let them six yep. 13. Yeah, uh, wheel gotta catch it. Uh, we find with the throw placement of the throw, it's in the air for a while. I guess he gets well, hit. He's getting throw. hit in yeah. throwing, which doesn't yeah. help. Ferguson, that's that's Makai Danzi, though. That's a young kid. Mm -hmm. Speed, you can see the speed. Is he going forward on the snap? You know, we don't pay attention to things can like we, that. Do, can we? Can you do that? <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, that, that looked very. Really that looked very arena league football to me. But yeah. dude, teams do that to us all the time. Dude, Cal Miami, was doing that like crazy. Miami did it to Cal, and they got called on it. Like their <laughs> their tight end was going like yeah, almost dude. vertical at the snap. All right, dude, it's we a, loving this little condensed set here. Yeah, it's great. I think it's to try to get like to try to chip these defensive ends to buy time. Oof. Jeremiah. I love the way that Clinton's D line extends. Yeah, they're getting that getting in there. That was just buyers getting worked. Uh you'd like to see, you know, 
if this was Pat Pat Mahomes, he buys enough time to throw the ball here and kind of buy, you know, just earn some yards, you know. Your tackles just right. He's getting worked, but still, like you can climb up a little, right, up into the left. Well, it's, it's not even about. It's like knowing where your hot is, getting it out. Be a be a point guard. Get the ball out to your guys. Let them make plays. You know, mm-hmm. don't don't eat a sack. I know this isn't perfect, and it's not going to get many yards, but just and this is. I mean, this isn't bad on Glenn necessarily. It's just not great, right? It's not what a perfect quarterback would do. Help him out, sixty-three. Yeah, Help but out. he's he's a redshirt freshman that's being thrown against the Wolves against Clemson. Oh, I thought I thought Darius handled that spin move. What happened? No, he did not. <laughs> yeah, at this point, they're just mocking Wolf, you. bro. Wolf, brother. Keep the feet moving. Keep this the feet a, moving. This is a money drive too. Oh, that's a t- that's a sad way to go out. Turn it off. Yeah, I'm in. No Moss, Roberto Duran. There's throwing two. the white flag. Um, so they were close. Summary. They were closer than I thought, and I'm more mad after watching it because the execution was so bad, so bad, and it wasn't just. It was every level, dude. You, you could pick a play, and there's a hundred percent one mistake, but there's likely multiple on each play. Like this execution has definitely not gotten better as the season gone has gone on, and obviously integrated more young guys through every level of the offense. Mm-hmm. Man, but you go back and you watch that tape. It wasn't. It wasn't the young guys making most of the mistakes. No, it's TJ Ferguson who is proving to not be a very reliable player at guard for you. It's Mo. Was was a concern. But yeah, Mo. Darius getting beat there at the end. Malik Benson not giving you the right looks on screens. Um, Chikai Kyle, not making a catch. Kyle Morlock can't block. I mean, but the, he hasn't been able to block all season. Like you're asking these guys. Bad track yeah. from Toa Feely. Old, old wide receivers not catching the ball. I mean, just. Yeah, multiple big drops by. Receivers, you need to be at the minimum catching the football. Yeah, they, they just, they're just bad. Yeah, they're and bad. It, it, we we called it from like the second game in where it's like, guys, nobody's coming to save us. There's no mm-hmm. hope in sight. You do have some fire on that side of the ball with some of the young guys. So mm-hmm. It will look different. It's not going to look good. It may look different enough, and you may get enough athleticism to win a game or two, but I, they it's, buy too, it's too bad. Yeah, it's got to get cl- it's Whatever. Mm-hmm. It's got to get cleaned up. It, it should have. It, it's had to been cleaned up, cleaned up for a week, three weeks so, ago. The oh, thing yeah. is, the, the, the glimmer of hope I have is I, I think that genuinely – the RPO game with with Brock Glenn, you got and, some, and then using that to take shots downfield. Yeah, it's not going to be great. I don't think you're going to have a great offense, no matter what you do with this this personnel at this point. But it's an identity. It's something to build an offensive game plan around, and that's something they have not had for the first five mm-hmm. games. So, and they've Florida. admitted themselves out loud that they don't have an identity, which is a wild thing for a coaching staff to say, but this is, this is an inkling of one. Adam, is there any way to use this, this newfound identity, this newfound possible identity to actually get some production out of the run game? Obviously it's never going to be a great run game, but dude, you got to have more than like 10 yards a game. You know what I mean? Can they, is, can we, can we get more effective running out of these looks? Um, I I don't mean, They've been doing a lot of this stuff all year. I mean, you're just yeah. getting better quarterback play with them. Mm-hmm. Um, they're yeah, they're not going to get they're not going to get better. It is important, but they're not going to get better run at the run game until they get those five guys up in front doing their jobs, playing and play out. Until they get those wide receivers becoming a threat, hitting a deep ball and actually catching it. Like I mean. All that other stuff's got to start happening before I think that just being able to throw some RPOs changes your run game effectiveness. Well, 
Florida State's got a lot of guys that need to do their job on the offensive side of the ball. Luckily for us, you guys did your job, and you stuck with us through this whole video. You liked, you subscribed, you put notifications on. You're a member of the Knowles247.com message board where all the fun stuff is going down. There's actually, once again, I said at the beginning of the video, way more stuff happening during a bye week that I'm Ooh. even comfortable. <laughs> like, I kind of wish it would be a little bit slow. It never is. But, guys... We said it. We meant it. We're here with you all season. We love you. Thanks for sticking with us. We will ingest what Florida State, the slop that they give us, but we will break it down every disgusting gray morsel that we have to choke down in this prison of our own making. Optimism. Enjoy. Keep chopping. <laughs> Enjoy the Saturday off and hope everybody stays safe. Yeah, please, dude. Uh, dude. Go to the pumpkin patch with your family or something. <laughs> have fun.